All right, now that you've learned the seven modes within that C major scale, I want to talk to you about what makes them a minor or a major mode and how they get some of their distinct sounds. Now, what's really important is the one, the three, and the five of each mode. It gives it the notes of the tone centers. And if I was in the first mode, C major, the one and three and five are the first note, the third note, and the fifth note. And those are the three notes that would make up a major chord, a root, major third, perfect fifth. That's why C, Ionian, is a major mode. If I went to the D, that's a D Dorian mode. This is a minor mode. And it's a minor mode because if you go to one, three, and five of that scale, you have a minor third and then a perfect fifth. So it's one. which is a minor mode. That's why it gets a distinct sound uh, of, as a minor mode. Let's go to the third one, which is E Phrygian. Now the first, third, and fifth notes of that one are fifth, third, I mean, and the fifth. Then the octave. That's also a minor mode. The Phrygian mode is a minor mode because we have a root, minor, third, perfect fifth there. Next we have the F Lydian. So it's here. And then one, three, five. And the octave. That's root, major third, perfect fifth. Again, that's a major mode, the Lydian. So the G mix the Lydian. The first note, third note. Mixolydian is a major mode. We go to A, A Aeolian. That's a minor mode. Root, minor third, perfect fifth. Lastly, we have the, the B Locrian mode. It starts at the B. Third note. Fifth note. This one we have a root, minor third, and a flatted fifth, which is diminished. So those are the, the arpeggios that go with every one of the modes. And let me play them. It's a good exercise to do. So I want you to try playing this through as an exercise. Let me show you how it goes again. C Ionian. fifth and an octave. D Dorian. E Phrygian. F Lydian. G Mixolydian. A Aeolian. Locrian, and then back to C Ionian. So those are the arpeggios of every single mode. 